Welcome to Pulse of Cyber Command. This is Terrence, and here is where we take command of our cyber lives. And today, I am going to talk to you about how I passed the Pentest Plus CompTIA exam. Let's get right to it. So, the Pentest Plus exam by CompTIA. Now, there's a lot of controversy behind this exam. A lot of folks don't really think it's a pen test plus exam. Some folks do, but I think it is uh, pretty well-rounded in combination with other certifications, such as the Security Plus and the CUI SA Plus, both by CompTIA. And as you can see, right here, I have... A lot of notes on my pen test plus study guide and this study guide was I would say uh, a huge piece of the pie when I studied for my exam now I'm gonna go over a few resources that I used. maybe it'll help you out this book is great uh, for starters because it did provide a lot of foundational uh, things with ethical hacking and pen test tools and things of that nature so it's a pretty well-rounded book I highly recommend that you take advantage of it there are lots of uh, review questions uh, I would recommend doing those at the end of each chapter there's also lab exercises which are great because I even go back and do those labs whenever I can and there's a free test bank flashcard and test bank that's included with this and I have used that for every CompT exam that I've taken thus far and it hasn't let me down so highly recommend that and secondly we're going to talk about Pluralsight now a lot of you who come here or have reviewed my prior videos do know that I am an advocate for Pluralsight and it's such been such a benefit to me that I've used it for various certifications up until now and I, I will continue to do so so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick look at Pluralsight and also a cloud guru which you can use for uh, lab prep and things of that nature and, and pen testing labs so let's take a look and here is Pluralsight. So you can see here that there are tons and tons of videos that can help you understand the concepts and the domains of the CompTIA Pentest Plus. So I know some of you are more prone to uh, lectures and listening to someone explain. I'm more of a literary learner and uh, hands-on learner so in the hands-on space this is where things get so much better with Pluralsight because there's so many labs here that you can do um, a lot of labs here that really encompass a lot of the web attacks you can see here web attacks enumeration um, command injection brute force with burp suite OWASP uh, zap I highly recommend that and there's also a practice exam uh, you can go in here and take the practice exam as many times as you want. So I highly recommend using this platform for your certification prep, especially for CompTIA, a cloud guru. Now, a cloud guru has tons of labs and they also have a lot of courses and upskill, very similar to Pluralsight because it is a Pluralsight company. So here is a, a lab that I pulled up for uh, a penetration test on a sample application as you can see here you can start up the lab um, and it gives you the objectives and it basically gives you step-by-step -step instructions on what to do just like the labs in Pluralsight they both do the same they walk you through the steps and you can spin up the lab almost right away it'll tell you how long it'll take and look at that look at that we got a lab up and ready to go and you'll see that it's about a 15 minute video here um, 
you don't necessarily have to 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 do that you can go to the learning objectives here and do the steps that they're telling you to do register the cloud user username to the webgoat instance and it, it's pretty cool and I, I can definitely tell you and they give you the credentials here and then you can pull up the terminal in another window and there's your terminal so I definitely recommend using Pluralsight and a cloud guru for lab help so you can really understand when you see it on the exam you'll understand that you've done this before hey I've, I did that in the lab I'm pretty sure this is how how I do it so on the exam make sure you're ready by using uh, things such as this platform such as a cloud guru and Pluralsight I recommend things such as uh, knowing the open source intelligence, knowing the, the steps of a penetration test and what is required. I recommend knowing active scanners such as Nmap, know attack tools such as Metasploit. You're going to want to know the differences between programming languages. Thank goodness I have a Python background because I don't think I would have passed if I didn't know a lot about uh, these languages so definitely know the differences on the exam when they display a script and they'll ask well what happens in this script or they'll ask you what language is this that the penetration tester is using so definitely know bash powershell javascript python perl know the differences in syntax of those programming languages trust me it will help you you'll thank me later this exam really helped me prepare for the cysa plus and the reason being is it really helped me it really helped me with this excuse me it really helped me with the cysa plus there was actually overlap with this exam and the CYSA plus with things such as uh, uh, SIMS, uh, you know, security, information and event management tools and reading those logs. We'll definitely go over that <laughs> somewhere down the line about the CYSA plus. That's a whole nother discussion. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that was helpful to you. I'll leave some links down in the description for plural site as well as the study guide and uh, some of the other resources i mentioned so thanks for dropping by like and subscribe the video i appreciate you very much for checking this out and remember you pass your exam keep your finger on the pulse of cyber and i'll see you next time